Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Want to test the Cutting Edge Windows 1125H2 before its official release? Get ready, because today, I'm going to guide you through a simple, reliable way to try this preview version right now using UUP Dump. Whether you're setting it up on a virtual machine or a test PC, this step-by-step -step tutorial will have you exploring Windows 1125H2 in no time. Let's jump right in. Before we begin, a quick note. Windows 1125H2 is still in preview and won't be available on Microsoft's website until its official release, expected around September or October 2025. Since it's an early build, I strongly recommend testing it on a virtual machine to avoid any potential bugs. Let's get started. Step 1. Visit UUP Dump. Open your web browser. Type in the search bar, UUP Dump. Press Enter. Click the first search result to visit the official UUP Dump website. On the UUP Dump homepage, click the Dev Channel Search option. Scroll to find the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build in the Dev Channel, looking for a build number like 26200 or higher. Click on it. Step 2. Select your options. Choose your language, such as English United States, and click Next. Select the editions you want, like Windows 11 Pro or Home. Keep both checked if you're unsure. Click Next. Ensure Download and Convert to ISO is selected and keep Include Updates checked. Click Create Download Package. This downloads a zip file containing scripts to build your ISO. Step 3. Extract the zip file. Open File Explorer and navigate to your Downloads folder. Find the zip file from UUP Dump, right-click it, and select Extract All. Choose a destination folder with no spaces in the name, like 25H2. This is critical. If the folder path has spaces, like Windows 11 25H2, the script will fail with an error. For example, avoid naming it Windows space 11 space 25H2. Click Extract. Step 4. Build the ISO. In the extracted folder, locate the batch file, typically named something like uup download windows.cmd. Double click it. If Windows Defender shows a warning, click More Info, then Run Anyway. In the command prompt, press R to run once. The script will download files from Microsoft's servers and create a Windows 1125H2 ISO in your folder. This may take a while depending on your internet speed, so be patient. Once complete, you'll find the ISO file in the same folder. Step 5. Create a bootable USB with Rufus. To test on a physical PC, you'll need a bootable USB. Open your browser and visit the Rufus official website. Download the latest Rufus version, preferably the portable one. Once it's downloaded finish, double-click the Rufus executable. Insert a USB drive, select it in Rufus, then click Select to choose your 25H2 ISO file. For modern PCs, use GPT and UEFI settings. For older systems, select MBR for legacy hardware. If you have unsupported hardware, check options to bypass Microsoft's restrictions such as removing the TPM or secure boot requirements. Click Start and confirm to wipe the USB. Rufus will format the drive and create a bootable USB with Windows 11 25 H2. Step 6. Test the build. For the safest experience, use a virtual machine. Load the ISO into software like VirtualBox or VMware. Alternatively, for a physical PC, Plug in your USB drive, restart your computer, and enter the BIOS to set the USB as the first boot device. Once installed, you'll land on the Windows 11 25H2 desktop, ready to explore new features like the enhanced start menu or improved CPU efficiency when idle. If you're finding this guide helpful, please subscribe to Passionate About Tech for more awesome tech tutorials. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video on Passionate About Tech.